Okay, I'm gonna make this video to talk about what happened on November 3rd of 2017 and why I why I'm paralyzed and how it happened. So 2017, November 3rd, I was in school going to Wayne State University College. Uh, and I missed my alarms that day. And you gotta understand, for the, it's crazy how this happened. Like, all these things have to hap had to happen in line. Like, all these things, like, just, like, happened and for this, like, crazy thing to happen. Like, it just, it's crazy. But, um, so I'm, on Fridays, usually what I do is, uh, I wake up, I go to school, after, after class, or after I meet up with my classmates, I can't remember what I was doing. Uh, I was doing that a while ago, but that time, but I think I was meeting up with a group or something like that. But anyways, uh, so I would, I would meet up in that group or go to class. And after that, I would um, go pray at the local mosque um, at Wayne State. And then after that, I would come home and then uh, eat, probably go straight to work after. I wouldn't even touch... Uh, my motorcycle. So, what happened was, is I missed all my alarms, and I woke up late. So I'm like, oh crap, I missed school. So, uh, whatever, I'll uh, I'll get some I'll get some things done today, and I'll still go pray at the local mosque in my area, and, uh, and then I'll go to work from after from there. So, since I m missed class, I had time to ride my bike. To, to the place I had, I had time to ride my bike and like go to those places that I need to go to, and I was gonna take my bike there. So, you know, win win, uh, have fun and get stuff done while you're having fun. So I was getting my bike out. It was cold that day, but I mean, it wasn't it wasn't too cold. And when you're, I was a new rider, so when you're a new rider, you don't feel the cold. You're just having so much fun, you don't feel anything. But uh, it was cold. It wasn't. It was like the last dry day of the season. It was a. Uh, it was. Like, in the beginning of November, like I said, it was cold, but it was still dry. So, uh, I, got, I was getting my bike out, and as I was getting my bike out, uh, Mom's like, uh, don't take the bike today. I'm like, Ma, it's the last, uh, it's the last dry day of the season. It's the last day I'm going to ride for the year, and then I'm going to put it away. So, I take it out, and uh, I go, I first go to Walmart to get some stuff. And then I go from from Walmart. I go to uh, I go to the mosque in my area. And uh, after the mosque, I, t I had a, had a uh, it was a good lecture. I can't remember what it was at the time, but it was a good lecture. I remember I saw some people. I said hi to the, hi to them. And then I was uh, I was gonna leave the mosque and gonna go from the mosque uh, home. And home to work, so I was like, whatever, like a normal Friday, but uh, but it wasn't. So I, I left the mosque. I was uh, the whole day was like it was crazy. It was like a, it was like the last. It was like the perfect riding day. The weather, I mean, like it was cold, but it was just like so perfect. Like the roads, there was barely anyone on the roads at the time, and uh, cause everyone was at work and stuff. But the roads were pretty empty. It was, it was a fun ride. Um, it was safe. I mean, I was—I didn't do anything. I wasn't riding stupid until like before I crashed, like I'm about to say. So I leave the mosque, uh, and I, I, I'm on my way home. So I get on the freeway, and uh, I'm going on the freeway. I'm going like just regular speeds, like 70 between 70 and 80. I was, I, I got on the left lane, and I know I saw it like this was like the first. This was like the like the first time. It's, like, cause I'm, I've only been riding for like a month and a half or so, like or a month or a month and a half, something like that. And uh, I get on the freeway, and there's, like, no one on the freeway. So I'm, like, so I was just, like, ah, I never, I never really, I never really gone fast, like, in any, like, I never gone, like, fast, fast in a car, like, a car or a motorcycle or anything. This was, like, my only chance. So there was no one on the road. I twist the throttle. I go full throttle. Well, at first, I didn't know. I was, I was twisting. I'm, like, ah, this is, ah, it's surprised I'm in six gear because I'm, like, I still have so much more left in the power band. I'm, like, this is crazy. So. I let go of the throttle. I'm like at 120. I let go of the throttle. I'm like, is this? I just wanted to make sure if it was in sixth gear. So I, I 
I felt the I felt the gear, and I'm like, I can't shift up anymore. So I'm I'm on sixth gear. So I start to go full throttle again. I go about I go about 150 when I pass this like red uh, red escape. And I'm like, wow, that was crazy. So I had to slow down. It was just such a cool feeling, like when you go so fast, and the the way my bike was designed is designed for like like how it passes over the bike, like the wind will push you against the gas tank. Such a cool feeling. But anyways, so I go 150 and I slow down. Like oh, I just got too scared. So it was, I mean, I was, I never gone that fast before. The fastest I gone before that was like 110 maybe. But, uh, and then once I went on the freeway, it's a lot more wind. I wasn't on the freeway one time. It's on a closed road, but it was empty. But, uh, so I go 150 and I'm like, I see my exit coming up. So I'm slowing. I, I, I slow down well, well before my exit. So I'm going about, uh, I'm going about 75 well before my exit. And I slow down. I'm slowing down from seven, 75 to, uh, to get on the exit. So I'm, I'm going about 65. Uh, I was at 70. I went from 75 to 65. Then when I got my exit, I was going from 70 to slowing down to like, well, it's a long turn. So, um, like it's like a, you, you slow down by letting off the gas. So you don't need to hit the brakes, but so I slow down. I've done this turn plenty of times. It's, it was nothing. It was, it's a very easy turn for anyone to do. And, uh, so I, I slow down. I, uh, for, uh, there's this thing called target fixation. If you, I, I don't, it's, it's hard to explain to people who don't ride, but people who ride get it. Like, you can look it up, but like when you're in the middle of a turn, something catches your attention and you go towards it, you don't even like, uh, you can look up examples on YouTube, but so I, so I was in the middle of, the I, I didn't even start the turn. I just like, I don't know, I don't know what caught my attention or what caused me to freeze up. I, I freezed up before I, I didn't even make the turn at all. I didn't turn at all. And I just went straight. I was going 65, so I was going straight. So I went from the road and the way, like, the if you don't hit the turn, like, you go on grass. So luckily there was grass, but I went from, I went from cement to grass, and it was, like, it was kind of elevated because, like, the way the grass is designed, it's, like, a slope. So it's designed for flood water, so it was, like, kind of a little hop. So my bike did a little hop because I was going so fast. And when it touched down, the, the, the back wheel was turning so fast. It, uh, it was spinning, so, it, like, as soon as I touched the ground, my back ends went and I went down like this on my left side and and that's when my spine my, your spine is like this mine went like that it was like a quick jolt so it caused my spine to shift and then I hit the ground going 65 so that's the, that was the initial hit that's what immediately made me par paralyzed and uh, I hit the ground and then after the initial hit me and the bike somehow separated I don't know what happened I can't remember that, that's the one thing I don't remember it's like how me and the bike separated but me and the bike separated, the bike went to my right, I just went straight flipping, and every time I remember, like, flipping, like, I remember uh, going in the air, I would see the sky, every time I hit the ground, my eyes would go black, like, I couldn't see anything, and then I would come back up, and I was, when I tried to get, uh, after the crash, I was like, I was, I didn't feel anything, it was crazy, like, all the adrenaline going, but I didn't even know what was going on, I got up, well, I was trying to get up, <laughs> I can't get up, but uh, I was trying to get up, and uh, I couldn't. And at well, first I was looking for my bike. I'm like, where the heck is my bike? And to get back on my bike, go to my friend's house and hide my bike there because I can't let my parents find out that I crashed my bike. So I'm like, ah, oh, where's my bike? And then next thing I know, I see this lady crying over me. Like, why is this lady crying right now? Like, what is going on? And uh, and then I realized, like, some, something's not right because I, I tried to feel my stomach. I couldn't... I thought my stomach was blown up because like it was puffed out because like how high my injury level is. When you get injured, I think it's like I believe, I believe it's T7 and above. You lose your abdominal muscle, so your stomach is very relaxed and it looks like you got a beer belly. But so that was the first thing I noticed. I, don't, my, I thought my intestines blew up, so that that's not what happened. But and I was trying to feel. I felt my lower. I was trying to feel my lower ribs. I'm like something's wrong. I can't feel my ribs. This is weird. This is really weird. But uh, yeah, I couldn't feel my ribs. Um. I'm like, wow, this, this, I was just so disoriented. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I see this lady crying. I can't hear it because I got earplugs in. When I ride, I, I, I wear earplugs because it's, it's, it's loud, uh, the wind and the, the exhaust. You don't, you don't want to keep, want to keep your ears safe when you're riding. So I'm like, what is this lady saying? So I, I try to get my helmet off. I took out my earplugs. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then she's saying, uh, what's your parents' number? I'm like, no, I'm not going to give you my family's number. Like, I don't want them to figure out about this. So, uh... She calls 911 immediately, and like everything happened so fast. And then I, I remember she's like, "Don't move." I'm like, <laughs> "Well, I mean, th thinking now, I mean, like now it's kind of funny." She told me no because I couldn't move. It's funny, but uh, at the time I was like, 
I was like, what's going on? I was just so confused. And then next thing I know, it, like the pain starts settling. It was like the worst pain ever. I'm just laying there. And uh, I was just laying there waiting for the fire firefighters to come. This lady was staying with me. And I couldn't, I can't remember too much, but uh, I was I was in full gear, thank God. I mean, that's what kept me alive. I had a helmet. I had a good jacket and stuff. And I was wearing pants and shoes. Um, but I remember they, uh, the firefighters came. Well, not the firefighters. I'm sorry. The ambulance. The ambulance came, like, so fast. It was, like... Two minutes. I think I think they were on the freeway at the time because I saw them coming off the freeway. I, I thought I think they were just on, like happened to be on there when they got the call, but uh, it happened really fast. So I was just laying there for for a few minutes. I was laying there. I, I was just laying there. I was just the pain was settling. It was just like getting worse and worse and worse. It was just like agonizing. It was so bad. And the uh, ambulance comes in, and the whole time. And then like after a few minutes in there, I just kept screaming my back, my back, my back, my back. Like I just kept screaming. I don't know why. Well, I mean obviously I knew. I mean. But it was just like it just uncontrollably. I just kept saying it, and then um, the ambulance comes. They, uh, I was kind of mad because I had a really nice jacket. Like I just bought it like not too long before I, not too long before I crashed. Like I just bought like a week or two before I crashed, and I was like it was a really nice full leather jacket. And they cut it. They cut it off me. Well, it was a smart thing to do, but I'm like no. Like as they were cutting, I'm like no. Cause it's such a nice jacket, but. Uh, they cut it out. They put me on. I can't remember what they carried me with, like a like one of those wood things, like they did in World War Two or whatever. But I don't know what they carried me with. But uh, they carry they carry me onto the they carry me into the ambulance, and they keep asking me for my family's number, my parents. I'm like, nah, I can't let them. I can't let them figure out about this because they'll worry. And well, <laughs> I mean, thinking nah, but it was the right it was the right call. So they said. So I don't know. They tricked me somehow. I don't know. They said I don't know why they tricked me because I was in such a crazy state. So. I don't know, he took advantage of me, but he's like, uh, you're 18. I don't know how this worked on me, but he said, you're 18. We don't have to, we don't have to uh, ask for your number, for anyone's number. You can do what you want. And I don't know th- wh- how this triggered me to give him my brother's number. So I gave him my brother's number. And um, and then the whole the whole time they're trying to get my family's number. So I gave him my brother's number. I get to the hospital. I can't remember too much. All I remember is my eyes were closed the whole time. And... Uh, I remember they put get me into the hospital. I remember the first things like the people were cutting my clothes off. I'm like, I was just, I was just like in so much pain. And then they're cutting me, they're cutting my clothes off like, um, and I'm trying to remember it's hard for me, but uh, they're cutting my clothes off. And then uh, I was laying on something like some sort of bed. I can't remember because I kept my eyes, for some reason I kept my eyes closed the whole time. I don't know why. It was just. Like I was in so much pain. And then, last thing I, the last thing I remember is after they cut my clothes off, I was just I was in so much pain. I went to shock, so my body started shaking like uncontrollably. And then that's the last thing I remember. And then uh, I I knocked out. Or I don't know what happened. That's the last thing I remember. And uh, I was out. I woke up. I don't remember waking up. Uh, all I remember is they they were asking me like my family wants to come see me or someone wants to come see me, and I wouldn't let them. And I guess my brother told me, I told him I want to see my brother first because I didn't want to I didn't want to see my parents because I knew I disappointed them or I, I thought they were, I don't know, but I, I I didn't I didn't feel right seeing my parents so I told him I'd uh, see my brother first and then my brother told me that uh, well it's, I don't remember it too much but after like a few months later after being home for a while he told me like what happened like he was saying that the they told me I was paralyzed and. I wasn't too sad about it. I was just, I was just like mad, like upset about the whole situation. I was really sad about being paralyzed at the moment, at the time. But uh, oops, sorry, get cold. But anyways, sorry I cut off there. But uh, like I was saying, anyways, um, uh, yeah, that's the story about how I became paralyzed. I'm gonna make some other videos. If you guys got questions below, or what I should make a video about, or about the journey and all that, um. I'll do that. Just any questions below. I'll either answer it. I'll either answer it. Comment section. Or I don't even know what I'm going to do with this video, honestly. But, or I'll make another one. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I've been paralyzed for about... Today's date is September 29th. So I've been paralyzed for um, almost 11 months. About 10 months and, like, 3 weeks. Uh, in October 3rd, it'll be 11 months. I'm getting close to a year. I'm glad to say that uh, from that time... From the time I've been paralyzed, I've gone back 
Uh, I've gotten almost all my life back. I've got. I'm back in school. I'm. I'm. I'm decently healthy for the most part. I'm becoming stronger every day. Alhamdulillah. Thank God. I've been blessed through all of this. Um, I mean, it was. It's a rough road. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, every like this whole year has been a crazy roller coaster. It's full of. A lot of downs, I'm not going to lie, like this is a rough journey, I can make a video talking about that, but it's been a really rough journey, I mean, there's still things I'm working on and figuring out, like for the future, but uh, I mean, from where I where I was, and from from November 3rd to where I am now, it's, I'm, I'm very happy, um, but I'm truly happy, like, to get to where I was, it was such a rough roller coaster like just but the thing is i never gave up i always stayed motivated and it's just uh try to like i guess i can make more videos about this but always try to have a positive outlook on life like being negative isn't going to help with anything and uh let's see the video's going to be too long